My name is Lynette Njeri. I'm part of the ICX Secretariat team. We have just concluded Africa's annual CX conference 2019 and it's been an exciting two days. It's been, we have had wonderful speakers, we have had excellent delegates who are very, very engaging. We have had excellent discussions in the, in the two days and we are really, really excited to have concluded this CX conference. First, we began with the keynote speaker, Michael Joseph, who is now the KQ chairperson. He really spoke about, you know, strategy and customer experience, and he gave us his experiences in Safaricom as well as at Kenya Airways, and we were able to learn from that. It was such an engaging conversation for us to hear from how he started Safaricom and how it grew to what it is today, being the CX champion that we see in, in this day and age. And the other speaker that came on was Sunny Bindra, who really had wonderful tips on customer experience principles. And he shared several seven tips that were really, really focused on people. And one of the big things that he talked about is that we needed to look at the leadership. The leadership le leads the culture, the leadership leads the strategy, the leadership leads the experience. And for us, if leadership is not plugged in, then the whole organization goes down. If we don't take care of our people, everything goes down. And he had just one point on technology and the digital, which was also very important. And he talked about Netflix and that we are in that Netflix age. So hearing Sunny Bindra speak to us was really a great experience as well. And then we had Moria, James Moria of Centum, who really spoke about um, culture. And he went on to talk about the need to go down to the customer before beginning to take out a product or sell a product or you know create an experience for customers have we asked the customers what they want are we building something that is user user led or are we going to just say our ideas and putting them out and they are not being received as we want and so he was really powerful on how are we engaging our customers? How are we including in them in our decision making? How are we including them in you know, um, creating our products? And that was a very important point for us to, to get from him. So that was an engaging, wonderful morning that we had yesterday on day one. So day one afternoon was Chantelle Botha. She was really, really exciting and such a funny personality and she brought to life customer journey mapping for us. And it was very real because she looked at the different personalities in the room and every executive was really touched on and different solutions were offered on how to journey map, what the difference between our journey map and a process map is and she really broke down how do we go about ensuring that you're able to map the customer how are you able to include them as we map their journey so that they're able to really feel that we have understood them she also talked about how do we cascade the journey map after we have created it so that everyone in the organization is able to understand that this is a journey map for the customer and this is how we need to treat our customers and one thing that i really picked on is the need to cascade the journey map to different teams in different ways. For instance, if you're cascading it to the customer experience team, then that is different because they have to go into detail. But if you're going to the back office team, then they understand it in a different way and you need to tweak it for them so that they're able to understand better. And that and afternoon was really engaging, just talking about the customer and the journey maps that we are able to, to see for, for them. So that concluded day one. The MC was wonderful. There was a lot of engaging activities. People won raffles from our sponsors. And it was really exciting and engaging to see people come in and th throw in their own experiences from the workplace and ask relevant questions. And that concluded day one in a high. It was an exciting day too today as we began with Richard Sebagala, a speaker from Uganda and he really came in to speak about the internal customer and being able to cater to that internal customer for sustainable 
customer experiences for our external customers and we really also looked at the leadership and where the leadership plugs in and uh, talked about how the fish rots from the head and that we needed to look at the head and examine the head and see that the head was able to connect to the rest of the body and and that was really great with the different tools that he gave us to be able to sustain that internal customer engagement it was a wonderful morning that began with a lot of energy and a lot of punch. And then we had a mid-morning where we had different teams and we were looking to engage the audience because it, it, it's not enough to just listen and to input into people, but we need some output from people as well. And it was really great to have people in tables just be able to answer different questions about customer experience and to hear from them. And it was a bit competitive and that was a wonderful mid-morning section for us and finally we closed it with the self the person ourselves and we had two wonderful ladies from Niskize Catherine and Kendi who really talked to us about taking care of your mental health being able to be aware of mental health issues that are affecting us in the country in the workplace being able to balance your life between you know life and the workplace being able to go and talk to a professional when needed and that was really a wonderful session there we're able to look at that the unconscious really does affect the conscious and how we behave and how that then manifests in the workplace and so that was really engaging for us and people were able to ask questions without judgment and they were able to get wonderful answers from it so we have concluded the conference with a cocktail a wonderful cocktail that's uh, helping people to network and get to know each other and from there we'll be able to look at next year big, getting it bigger and better because as you can see this is the second annual conference we had the inaugural one last year but we look forward to making the third annual conference even bigger and better and have value for our participants next year.